dangers out there, you know, although you don't think about them, they must be in the back of your mind somewhere in your subconsciousness. It's not fear, you know, but it's just adrenaline because you expect yourself to do well even though you know that something silly could happen, you know. If I was going to Talon, I was going to pay my respects to the great man himself. I think it's just hard work and effort. I think you get back out of it what you put into it. Nick is a one-man band. He's the real deal, and he can put his hand to do anything. Uh, one minute he's planning a trip around South America, the next minute he's planning a giant rally for all the adventure touring enthusiasts in the middle of Wales somewhere. He's developed his own adventure centre. He was a one-off, an absolute one-off. I detected that from the word go, and that's without hindsight. I knew, and a couple of us knew, that we were dealing with a particular individual here who was very, very interesting indeed. What it is that singularly drives him, I'm not sure. These kind of miles every single day, day in, day out, to me is absolutely amazing that a human being can do it. To me personally, Nick is um, motorcycling's Indiana Jones. We're synonymous with that trip around the world. It's indefinable. I've tried to analyse it many times. People often think about Nick or describe him as being crazy. Uh, he's not crazy in the slightest. He's just full of energy. Because his challenge was getting around the world as fast as possible, not learning how to film. It's almost like somebody to swat off your shoulder. He doesn't uh, give up very easily. I don't think any manufacturer with a real passion for motorcycling couldn't help but get engaged with someone like Nick who shares that passion with Yamaha. And it's that quality that, that we just are ready for whatever Nick wants to suggest next. It's been a fantastic adventure and a journey that looks likely to continue for many years to come. It doesn't matter whether it's a contradiction or not. Just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean it can't be done. And the thing I like about Nick is that he proved it again and again and again. I like crazy climbers who do crazy places. It's like the very few of them, and you have to listen to people like that. You have to watch them because they, they give you an eye, a view of the world which a normal person can't possibly give you.